Dear wine lovers, welcome to Chateau Montrose. I'm Romain Bellon, the sales manager of the property, and I'm really happy to share with you this short video presenting our winery, its own specificities and secrets. Let's begin with the poetic origin of the name Montrose. Before the creation of the estate and its vineyard, the hilltop on which the chateau stands today was covered with bushes, which had the particularity of blooming in pink. The sailors, from their boat, transporting the wine on the estuary, named this place the Pink Hill, literally Mont Rose in French. Théodore Dumoulin, the first owner, adopted this name in 1815 for the creation of the domain. Written in two centuries by three families of owners, the history of Montrose is depository of the spirit. It is marked by the quest of excellence and legendary vintages. There were pioneers in the Medoc, visionary builders and wise managers. In 2006, the Buick family bought the estate with a clear objective, perpetuate the quality of this classified growth and make Chateau Montrose a model of skilled winemaking and sustainable development. Chateau Montrose is one of the two second classified growth in 1855 of saint Estephe, the northern communal appellation of the Medoc. Montrose has the particularity to be the closest vineyard to the river. This proximity with this estuary gives to the vineyard a microclimate very favorable to the vines growing. Indeed, this big mass of water protects us from extreme temperatures during spring frost or heat waves. The Gironde flowing through the Medoc has shaped the area into terraces. Montrose is located in the terraces 3 and 4, the two most remarkable ones, composed by gravels and sands with a rich clay subsoil. One of the very rare specificities of Chateau Montrose Vineyard is to be just in one single block. The 95 hectares of vines of the properties surround the buildings facilitating their global management and follow-up. Moros Vineyard is strongly dominated by planting of Cabernet Sauvignon, typical of the greatest Medoc wines. The Garonne gravel terroir of Moros are idle for this king of grape varieties, which gives us its best here. The complexity of the soil, the property's idle exposure and microclimate allows for perfect ripening every year. At Moros, Traditional working methods are enriched with modern techniques and high-precision manual skills. The technology is used to improve our knowledge of our vineyard, to learn how to extract its skin essence without disturbing the vineyard and the people working there. We do our best to be self-sufficient in energy. As an example, you can have a look on the 3000 meter square solar panels present on the roofs of our buildings. Also, all the vineyard is managed using only organic products. Our terroir is divided into multiple parcels. However, we realized that some areas of the same plot could be ripe before or after others. In order to harvest each grapes at perfect maturity, we practice an intraplot picking. This tailor-made work allows us to isolate between 70 and 80 qualities of wines depending on the vintage. You have an example on the video, the picking of the vintage 2019. After a very traditional but efficient vinification, all the lots are then tasted blindly, which will determine the blends of each wine. No recipe at Chateau Moros. Each vine has the opportunity to be part of the Grand Vin. Here is a spectacular cellar. Once the wine is blended, it is slowly aged in our 100% French oak barrels. The Grand Vin will spend a minimum of 18 months in barrels, while the other wines age for one year. Thanks to a first growth class terroir and the tailor-made work, Chateau Moros produces remarkable and very distinctive wines.